So as you can probably see, we're standing currently on an old FYM heap. So this was taken out of sheds, possibly this winter. I think the bit next to me was possibly the winter before. And you can see we're standing on it. It's got a nice bit of structure on it. It's extremely straw heavy. So a lot of the nutrients, uh, when I say nutrients, I'm talking about the nitrogen, phosphorus, etc., has been washed away with all the rain that's fallen on this heap. Uh, what we're trying to do is create an anaerobic environment uh, and by adding microorganisms uh, into the FYM heap, which we'll go and have a look at in a second, um, to end up with a fermented product rather than an aerobically rotten compost, if you will. So we've come over to this heap. What's happened here is when the FYM was taken out of the shed, we added the microorganisms and we added a seashell grit to buffer the pH. And what you can see is on the sides, on the periphery of the, the heap, where the, the fermentation hasn't quite happened, we've got a lot of just straw, a bit of muck, very similar to the heap we've just looked at. Very tough to break apart, still got its structure, um, not much in the way of nutrients, it's just pretty much straw that's left. Whereas if we look at the heap that's been under cover, you can see here, it's just the structure is completely gone. All the nutrients has been retained. The structure of the straw has been broken down. Um, and we've ended up with a product, as I mentioned earlier, it's nutrient dense. So it's got all the nutrients that started off in the heap. It's still there. It's been retained. The microbes have broken down that straw and you've ended up with a pre-digested food for the soil that's full of carbon uh, and it's readily available once it's applied onto the soil.